All right, let's talk about gift cards. So if we are on our Shopify store and we are in the left-hand corner here, uh, we're gonna go to products and we're gonna scroll down to gift cards. Now what Shopify is gonna do the first time you load up the gift card pages is gonna give you two options. You're gonna have add a gift card product and issue a gift card. Now uh, Shopify, has a separate kind of product type for gift cards. Um, so you have to add a specific product to your store uh, for gift cards. Now you can add multiple gift card products, but as long as you have one, um, then you can sell them through your store. If you don't have any, you're gonna get this option to add a gift card product. So let's go there first. Let's go add a gift card product. It's gonna take us over to uh, the product page, very similar to what we went through with a couple of, uh, of different uh, changes and tweaks. So let's put in gift card and we're just gonna go gift card. Okay, great, those are our two pieces. Uh, the big thing that you're gonna notice differently at the bottom when we're talking about a gift card is instead of having products um, and variants, you have denominations. So you can put in 10, 25, 50, $100. You can add as many denominations as you want. You can change their value, you can delete them. Uh, but everything else remains the same with the gift card product. You can activate it, you can set on what sales channels it's available on. Maybe you don't want to sell gift cards on um, Facebook, but you only want to sell them on your online store. You can do that through your sales channels. You can set them as draft, just like you normally would. And then you have your product organization with your product category, your product title, type, your vendor, your collections, and your tags. Um, there is the ability to have different templates for uh, gift cards. Um, to be honest, I have never really built out separate gift card templates. Um, I'm sure there are people that take advantage of it, but it's gonna be similar to building out a product template. You're just gonna have a couple different liquid codes. We might touch on that in the, in the next section. Uh, yeah. So, all right. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to save that gift card. Once we've saved that gift card, if we go back to the original gift card uh, landing page, um, you'll see that button is going to disappear. We now only have one button left, which is going to allow us to issue a gift card. So a couple things that have happened across the top, we have a gift card product. We've already gone and done that. Um, if you want to view your gift card products, if you hit here, it's going to take you over to products and show you a search. Uh, you have more actions. This is a bug that I've found in Shopify is when you generate it and then click on more uh, actions, it disappears and switches over to export. I mean, they'll probably fix it at some point. Um, and then you can go and issue a gift card. This button and this button are gonna do the same thing. So let's go in and issue one. So first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna generate out a gift card code. So this is a randomly generated code. You can change this into anything that you want, uh, but this code is what is gonna be used at checkout. Now, when someone uses that checkout, it's going to deduct the amount of their cart from the initial value. So whatever is on that card. Um, next is we have expiry dates. Uh, now it's important to realize that some countries have specific laws around gift cards and expiry dates. In Canada, where I am located, uh, you can't have an expiry date on a gift card if someone has paid you um, uh, fiat currency for that. So you have to honor it or refund it if they, if they request it. Next, you can go and add it to a customer. Uh, you would want to do this if you want to activate and send them an email. Uh, and if you want to go and activate and send, it's going to um, give you a new page. So it's going to give you their current balance. It's going to give you your expiry. And then we're going to get our, um, we're going to get our timeline at the bottom like we normally would. We can copy the gift card um, and then we can go back to our gift card page. Now, once we're on our gift card page, this is going to go list, list of all of your gift cards. Now, if you have um, existing gift cards, um, it can be a little bit cumbersome to put them all in. There is no direct import in Shopify for gift card, but there are a couple apps available. So I recommend you check out some of the apps on the Shopify app store and they will be able to help you import your gift card. So if you're an existing business and you had your gift cards set up on a different system and you wanna move them over, you need to do it through the API so that you can add them in there. That just saves you from entering them all in manually. All right, that's a quick overview of what we have for gift cards, all the buttons that are involved in that. Next thing we're gonna go over is uh, Priceless.